Hey everybody, Phone Scoop here. Today, Phone Scoop is taking a look at the Nokia N900. Now, this device is uh, not going to be offered by any US based carriers, uh, but we thought it was uh, worth taking a look at because it's a, an interesting new step for Nokia in that it merges its uh, tablet based series type devices with its N-series uh, multimedia computer devices. So what do you have here is a touchscreen based device that runs MIMO 5 software, not Symbian, no S60, it's all MIMO and um, has a touch based screen and lots of other features. So uh, let's uh, take a tour around the device. Big shiny screen here with nice high resolution. And uh, we've got nothing going on on the left side except for a stylus uh, because this is a resistive touch screen. We've got a full three and a half millimeter headset jack here, a sliding lock key, and you can see a speaker there. On the right side of the phone, there's a lot more going on. We have a camera button here, we have the power button here, and we have the volume toggle here. All three of these buttons are easily found and have good travel and feedback on them. And on the top of the device, uh, depending on your uh, perspective, as the other speakers, we've got stereo speakers and a micro USB port for charging and data transfer. On the back of the device, you can clearly see the Carl Zeiss camera. We've got uh, five megapixels here with dual LED flash. And uh, I've got a nifty little uh, kickstand here that will uh, support the device if you want to put it down, for example, and, uh, and watch some content or a movie or whatever. And of course, we've got the full QWERTY keyboard here. And this, this keyboard is uh, similar to that of the N97, but has uh, a better feel to it. Uh, the keys have a little bit more definition, and uh, they have a little bit more travel and feedback. Um, it's still just a three-row key, and the space bar is uh, still uh, off to the side here and, uh, and a little bit on the small side. Um, but at least you've got some uh, navigation keys here. You've got four-way directionals here to, uh, to navigate around the screen. But uh, really what, what sets this device apart, of course, is the MIMO-based user interface. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and take a look at that. So this is the basic home screen of the N900. You've got your calendar events listed here and some shortcuts on the side. You can see there to the phone, to uh, you know the web, and your contacts. The main menu you get to by pushing in the upper left hand corner. And here you've got a standard grid of, uh, of different applications and shortcuts. Um, so this device offers a lot. You know, you can see the web, media player, calendar, photos, contacts, mapping, um, camera, email, conversations, settings, and more. We'll hit the More tab, and you can see there's a lot more applications in here. And uh, what's, what's really nice about MIMO is that it's uh, a pretty flat architecture when it comes to um, how deep things are organized in the in the menu structure you know they're not buried 6,000 folders deep as you may be familiar with on some of the um, uh, you know s60 based devices so we hit the dial pad it'll bring up the dial pad here and we can dial numbers as we normally expect to be able to and and place calls from the screen and uh, we can also uh, go straight to our contacts if we wanted to and uh, you can see good old Rich has, uh, has put himself here in the, uh, the contacts of uh, the N900. And of course you have email. So email uh, you know, is, a, is a client that's on the device and you can see we have to set it up. So you can go through um, all of the uh, steps here and, and add all sorts of different types of accounts. Of course all the POP3 and IMAP accounts that most people use are, are certainly available. So we will uh, jump out of that. Looking at the camera briefly, um, it's pretty good camera software and uh, it works nicely. We've got some good options here. We can uh, change the way that we, we focus. We can look at our images. Uh, we've got plenty of settings to alter. And you can see how speedy it is. It's a, it's a very fast experience. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, you know, the menus pop right up and um, you, know, you can uh, adjust the, uh, how, it shoots, how it shoots pictures. We've got automatic macro, portrait, landscape, and action here. And uh, of course we can close out, turn the flash on and off. And um, that's always nice to be able to have quick access to some of those easy settings. So we'll jump out of there, go back into the main menu. 
Um, of course, it has a settings uh, menu, and they've they've grouped things in a in a pretty easy to understand way. So there's how you personalize things. Here's how you manage all the connectivity and uh, accounts and and networks and such. So it's you know it's a visual way instead of just menus and and files and folders and uh, you know it makes it a little bit easier to to get get at what you're looking for without uh, without too many problems. One last thing we'll look at here is the uh, the browser has a uh, a very nice browser on here and uh, you can see it's got visual bookmarks to to take you where you want to go. We'll go to Google and uh, we're running on a Wi-Fi network here, not a uh, not a cellular network so we'll open the window jump into Google and you can see how that looks there you know really nice and sharp the screen is a has a nice high resolution so it's impressive to look at and uh, let's say we want to uh, go to a good old phone scoop we'll do that and you can see phone scoop jumps right up there of course on Wi-Fi it's gonna be gonna be pretty speedy and uh, the site looks really good um, because of the high resolution screen again so you can scroll up and see uh, what's going on in the world and of course access uh, a full page view or you know use the um, um, smaller view to to work with uh, some of the tools that the uh, the browser opens offers um, you know we can uh, look at our bookmarks we can add this as a favorite um, and uh, and so on so that is a quick look at the Nokia N900, a um, MIMO 5 based multimedia device that uh, Nokia is offering, um, you know, via online stores and such. Uh, it's a little bit on the pricey side and U.S. carriers are not going to be offering it, but it's a, a solid uh, device just the same.